Liz opened up oh, to friends terrible. about her drug use, both recreational and prescribed. She took prescription medication like Adderall, but at times she over-medicated. Did she talk much about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's talk very freely about it. Liz had always been under the care of psychiatrists. Um, and she had her stash of prescription medication that she needed, but that she also liked as well. And she knew how to work the system to get to get the medication she wanted. So, kind of partially self-medicated. Yeah. And when medication wasn't enough, Liz sometimes resorted to alternate ways of finding relief. She was a fighter, so it was a way for her to kind of release any type of anxiety. What kind of cutting are we talking about? With the deep cuts, little scratches, what? No, for the most part, they're, you know, superficial wounds mm -hmm. cause you a little pain and have you bleed a little bit, nothing that would send you to the hospital. She knew that she had problems. And she did whatever she could, and, and she tried so hard to circumvent those issues that she had. She more hurdles than most people. Yeah. When things were going wrong in her marriage, Liz did what she would often do. She wrote about it as if writing fiction. She showed it to Nathan. They had some very real actual events <laughs> in the story. Hey, big Zoe. The woman in Liz's story had been rescued from her life's troubles by a man named Brooks, her white knight. They moved to California, a little girl, and then things went bad. I'm a failure. Hanging out with Daddy. A lifetime movie. He's hanging out a with A lifetime Daddy. movie that retains such saccharine, sweet, maudlin hanging predictability that I left. I left Brooks. I left my little girl and walked out of that nightmare. I walked out of my life. The parallels to Liz's real life, hanging as Nathan out told with Zoe girl were so obvious. What did you think when you wrote it? Well, I made it hard because it was a story about what we were dealing with, somebody that is missing, and if she acted Just out that out. story in real time, then it would have aligned. Leaves her kids and runs and leaves it all behind. Right. Maybe, but Liz's story also what are we gonna do, huh? a second possibility. What are we gonna do? I am so sick oh. of everyone but mostly completely yeah. and entirely sick of myself. Maybe everyone is better off in my absence. Did you ever think that suicide was a possibility? It was something that unfortunately was in the back of my mind. And to those possibilities, add yet another. Months before she disappeared, this created an online dating profile. When she got on the app, it wasn't, you know, to be taken seriously at all. 